What's up guys, Shane here from 3 Deck 3D Printing, and today we're going to start the very first episode of a new series that I'm doing is called Understanding Simplify 3D. I've been asked many, many times on various ways on, hey, can you please explain certain settings in Simplify 3D? Now there are some good videos out there on Simplify 3D and some that just don't explain quite what you want, and hopefully this will be able to explain some of the nitty gritty settings to you so that you can understand. Now I will say this right up front. I have no affiliation with Simplify 3D, I have no formal training, I am completely self-taught and I have just figured these things out by either watching videos or just playing around and printing, printing, printing to learn whatever I can and I highly suggest you do the same. But let's dive right in with the very first one and we're going to be talking about first layer settings. This is crucial to any 3D print and you are doomed to fail if you do it incorrectly. So let's open up Simplify 3D. You're going to go into your process number one. The model does not matter. We're just going to use this because it's the last thing loaded in. And we're going to go ahead and hit edit process settings. Now once into here, we're going to go here to the second tab, which is your layer settings. First thing we're going to look at is your primary layer height. So this is that kind of key to know for, and we're going to assume that you have proper spacing between the nozzle and your bed and we're doing at a 0.2 millimeter layer height, which is what I normally do. 0.1 will be for more detailed print or 0.15, and for a much rougher print, it will be 0.3, and I'm using a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. So let's go over here to the first layer settings, and these are what we're looking at. So first layer height, these are what I'm using on my Mono, Mono Price Select Mini, and I'm doing 90% for the first layer height. What does that mean? 100% means 100%. So of the 0.2 millimeter, it's going to be 0.2 millimeters high. We're doing 90%, which means I'm kind of a little bit closer and I'm smushing it a little bit more onto my build plate and I need a little less plastic extruded. If you're a little further away, you can up this to 90. You can up it to 100 if you are even further or if you just want to have a much larger first layer, you can go all the way up as far as you want. I think on my GTEC, I used to, I printed that with like 200% on the first layer height. Now you say, oh, that's just because you have, you know, you're too far from the bed. No, not quite. If you have inconsistencies in your bed, a much larger layer height will fill in those inconsistencies and you will be set. This is really crucial for things like if you're printing straight onto aluminum, which can ding up. Glass, not so much, but aluminum, yes. So you're going to want to increase your first layer height to be thicker or, you know, higher that way, it is a nice smooth all the way around. Your nozzle will squish more, so you're going to get the elephant footing. Be aware of that. You're going to get a little bit of elephant footing, but you'll get a much nice flat and solid surface. It'll be consistent all the way across, and then you can set up from there to have a really great print. Now, the next thing we're going to look at here is your first layer width. Now, first layer width has to do with how wide each trace, we'll call it, is in your print. So if we just go with these settings right here, which is 100% layer width. And we're gonna just prepare to print. Again, the model does not matter. We're just looking at it to get an idea. And I'm gonna zoom way in here. I'm sorry, let me get this centered here. Let's zoom way in. So now we can see how far apart we are. It's about the size of my cursor, right there across. So let's say that your, your lines are too close. So you're actually running over the previous print Okay, that means we need to decrease, we need to increase our number. And this will make less, less traces across your first layer because they are extruding more. So we can go ahead, up that to 125%, prepare to print. Let's go all the way down here to the very first layer, grab that. Now look how much wider these are. It is much wider than my cursor is now which means there are less traces going across this. Now, the actual size on here is, is irrelevant because it can't show exactly how, how large your print is going to be. But this means that there is more space now between each one of your traces. Okay, so let's look at the opposite. Your traces are too far apart. You need to get them closer together. So we're going to decrease the size. Whoops, wrong tab. We're going to decrease the size. So we go all the way down to like 80. Let's do extreme just so you can kind of see what it looks like. We're down to 50. Now, you're going to see here, this is going to be quite different. Look how small those traces are. Look, it's almost, it's two traces now 
that go across. So that means if you had less filament coming out or you're a little further away and you need to build more filament in there, this will close a lot of those gaps. But if you're too close, you're going to over extrude and you're going to be pushing through the previous layer that you just put down. So you have to keep that in mind. These are crucial for troubleshooting and to understand what these two settings do. And I mean, obviously right here, the first layer speed, you want it to be slow. I mean, slow, 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 50%, 40%, 20% even, I've seen a lot of people do. And that is just so that you're ensure that your first layer is nice and solid when it goes down and that it is just a nice, good print. So I hope this helps you guys out and I hope this helps you better understand the settings in Simplify 3D. I'm Shane, thanks for tuning in, and as always, happy printing.